we doing there soldiers i hope you're all well and going off going off uh today's the ninth day of january 2008 and this is project blue star from 2000 to 2012 and we're counting down to the main calendar uh in this transformational period in human consciousness making sure human beings are, uh, are doing their best to reach equilibrium to find balance to find peace on this beautiful planet earth in uh as the uh, unprecedented climatic variation hits us all. Uh, climate change is alive and well around the world. In this transmission, we're gonna cut down to Danny Boy at Earth Sanctuary World Nature Center in the heart of Central Australia. He's gonna have a bit of a gander at what positive global solutions exist uh, in, the, in the process of finding balance. Then we're gonna look at some climate change news and uh, a bit of a uh, Federation diary insert as uh, what's going on on this beautiful transmission on this day. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Here's Danny Boy down there in the big smoke and uh, we'll see you soon. G'day Tommy, hello Federation superstars and welcome to another transmission of Federation TV live baby, live. Did you know that you can save up to about 700 pounds of carbon into the atmosphere by just using one of these? Here we go, look at that. Look at that. 700 pounds just by hanging out your stuff on a clothesline and not using a dryer. It's pretty straightforward. I know it's very easy for uh, people like us who live out here. Sorry, I've got a pistol in my foot. Those who visit the sanctuary in the future, bring some thongs. Don't be carrying on like us, walking around barefoot. I think it's coming from our tribal days. It's getting a bit ridiculous, a bit ridiculous, Roger. Uh, 700 pounds a year of, uh, of less carbon you can emit into our atmosphere just by using a clothesline. As I said, it's a bit easier for us because we've got this big mate up there. And uh, she's quite warm this time of year, quite warm. In fact, uh, give it another hour, I won't be walking around out here. I'll be inside in my burrow, like the Parentes and the Lizards. Tommy, I hope you're having fun. I'll see you shortly back in the homestead. Uh, I better go get uh, my, uh, my Federation gear on. What do you reckon? Yeah, great stuff there, Danny. That's just fantastic. And uh, let's maybe have a look exactly what uh, I was doing on this uh, very transmission. Let's uh, get back down to that planet Earth and uh, suss out the next stage. You little bit. How are we doing there, boys and girls? And welcome to the ninth day of January 2008. And uh, I'm slap bang in the middle of some serious extreme heat. It's well over 40 degrees Celsius outside. I've got Danny Boy behind me there. You might see him on the motorbike and uh, it's uh, it's quite frankly it's fucking hot it is fucking hot it's um, we're just coming back from Benny's place we've finished our uh, our block our last night shift in the ambulance centre it's been a fairly uh, fairly stock standard night but um, stock standard in Alice Springs is always pretty extreme in itself so uh, we're heading back to the sanctuary it's three o'clock in the afternoon and it's absolutely sizzling in heat it is sizzling in heat, I'm melting, and uh, we're going to get back to the Sanctuary Homestead and carry on with a bit of catch up on rest and get on with the Federation campaign. Hope you guys are well, some serious weather going on around the planet and some even more serious ignorance to ignore what uh, is a reality. Um, you guys are onto it, we're all onto it, we'll see you in a few moments, take it easy. Hot, 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 h
hot, 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 bacon, bacon, I can smell myself cooking, it's so hot, I can smell somebody cooking, it's me, not bad, Whew. it's hot, it's hot, 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 hot. Yeah, that, yeah, great work. Uh, it was indeed a very, 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 very hot day and uh, up around the mid 40s, but that is a little bit normal for the Red Centre. We can't complain too much. What a wonderful training it is down there in Central Australia, just getting ourselves used to the, uh, the conditions of extreme weather. And that's exactly what Central Australia is in, uh, in the setup of Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre. It was based there simply because the extreme weather uh, gave us a, a perfect foundation to set up and test and explore these positive global solutions and make sure they indeed uh, can withstand the test of this crazy climatic time that we live in. Anyway, let's get onto the website, uh, check out some news from around the world, com.com, and, uh, and we're looking at the ninth day of January 2007. Again, more uh, climatic variations around the world, again in the area of earthquakes, and uh, some of the big quakes occurring around six to five um, on the Richter scale and these quakes are just insane. They're happening more and more often and all the way around specifically uh, the Pacific Ring of Fire as everyone well knows particularly uh, through there um, up there in Fiji the old ancient landmass of Mu and uh, getting up through uh, uh, parts of Papua New Guinea, Japan and uh, the northernmost pops uh, parts uh, west coast of the United States. Uh, on the news we have here um, a deep tremor in Greece uh, caused water problems an earthquake measuring 6.5 on the Richter scale and uh, hopefully you guys have been hearing some of these uh, so quakes that are occurring over even the last week but this is becoming regular we're getting high fives and six on the uh, Richter scale and it's getting a little bit ridiculous um, this one was on January 6 disrupting the area's drinking water systems and causing water to turn red again volcanoes in Papua New Guinea um, the, the Rabel Volcano Observatory is preparing to send two to monitor the increased activity at the Belgae Cone on Karkar Island in Medang. Um, again, there's more uh, volcanic swelling going on there, more magma moving uh, due to maybe it's that water, that pressure on the tectonic plates again. Um, back in the US, we've got freak, a, a freak cluster of January tornadoes uh, going down. Uh, these are, uh, blew across the unseasonably warm Midwest, demolishing houses, knocking a railroad locomotive off its tracks and even temporarily shutting down a courthouse. Back in Australia, weather forecasts are keeping a close watch on another low pressure system and an upper level disturbance that could bring more heavy rain to the New South Wales north coast. Uh, far north Queensland uh, bracing for the possibility of more flooding and that's exactly what's going on today is there's an enormous increase in water to the tropical regions as uh, climate change is calling a shift, causing a shift in uh, what uh, once was a normal climate. It's now pushing up to 500 kilometres north or south of one area. Um, over in New Zealand, torrential rain, Scotland, uh, more storms going on, and Iran, at least 28 people are reported to have died in Iran's heaviest snowfall in recent years. Now that's a bit insane. So there's a lot of cold weather hitting there in the Arabic region, and uh, that's going hard as well, just while there's social um, tension going on as well. All right, let's spacecraft. Uh, guys, that's fantastic. I hope you've all been very well on this transmission, looking after yourself. Keep an eye on millicom.com. We're uploading it as much as we can in relation to what uh, what sort of things can help you uh, in your own neck of the woods to uh, find a bit of uh, find a bit of balance in this changing time. Uh, as we sign out on this episode, I'm going to uh, play a couple of tunes. Thanks very much for hanging out with us. We'll see you tomorrow for the 10th day of January, and uh, keep an eye on the sky. Good on you guys. Take care. This quake, the strongest in 20 years, shook it so violently it left local.